Yeah, we've had a helicopter flying around for the last half an hour. I will watch it. Not sure for what reason. Wonder if we'll see it again as I head on down towards the railway. Oh, just been a little ginger cat walking ahead of me, but it's uh, decided to look sideways now. I mean, we might be going on now. <laughs> Leading the way past the Gulf, the Berlin Green. <laughs> Wonder how far he's going. Bye bye. Just got as far as the uh, Youth Club, and I recognise a certain car over there. I think uh, Val's in there playing table tennis at the moment. So I get a shot of this mural while we're here. Symbolic who watch it with the lighthouse. <laughs> Yes, it's quite colourful. All the way around this court. Getting quite a nice display of primroses here. And I've come out specially today because I've been told, thanks to my fine contact, that uh, the 93 rail car, steam rail car, will be departing West Somerset Railway today. And uh, hope to capture it as it passes through, we'll watch it. One or two interesting colours in the uh, rocks as they're uncovered by the sea here. Lots of green mosses and, and the like. It looks to me as if some of these cliffs have given away a bit in recent times too here. Certainly walking on the edge of uh, the land. I'm curious to know what this path is like because with all the recent wet weather it's been almost impossible to get through this pathway because of the slopes and the mud but obviously it's now open again we haven't had any rain for a few weeks now, unusual just that cold wind. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can get through at the bottom anymore because the undergrowth tended to grow over that path that was so muddy for so long that no one walked through it. Let's have a look. You can see the detour that people were born into uh, the surroundings here to bypass the bottom. Lovely viewpoint here for trains when they approach. I think it's still looking muddy there in that uh, lowest point, so I think it's a detour to this new way around. At least it's not slippery now, you can just walk down here. That fear of ending up horizontal. Oh, let's go that way. That's quite steep that way. for the train so I think I'll head on further down in to watch it. So some months ago an attempt was made to put a wooden fence all around this area. I don't know for what reason but uh, Obviously it's not been appreciated by those who prefer to walk through here and that's all that's left of the fence. I wonder what the idea was anyway. We're going up to the, probably the best viewpoint of uh, Watchet Harbour. But as I said, the tide is mostly out, so I uh, won't be seeing any ships coming or going. So I'll head on now down past the side of the valley. I had a bit of a compliment the other day in the fact that uh, a couple who watch my videos, when they finally came to watch it, they decided to explore all the paths that I'd shown them in the area. So um, I wouldn't recommend you try and go down over this slope, over this path. That's really steep, only done by young, the younger generation. But there are steps through here, albeit somewhat uneven steps. I don't know how long ago these were made, but uh, must have been a great improvement over what used to be here. Nice clear view there. Or well, at least to be used to be a nice clear view before the trees grow in at the railway. Birds are singing nicely in the trees to my left. that you can see there's a little 
nature path they're going up that bank going right through to here so something must regularly walk through there whether it's badgers or foxes don't know let's walk down and have a closer look at the crossing then over in the marina there is the old uh, I was going to say vintage uh, crane, which I believe has got problems trying to get the spare parts for it. I think that temporary five mile an hour speed limit for the trains is a good idea. I think uh, that might well become permanent. You can see that black bag uh, over the original speed limit to uh, blowing in the wind. And I feel a few spots of rain too, which is the first for a few weeks. I also heard uh, via comments on my videos that uh, some people arrived here at the infamous Watchet Level Crossing, as it used to be, not in this improved version. But uh, the first thing they wanted to do was come up to the old noisy gates and bang on themselves. <laughs> so that, in a strange way, was a kind of a tourist attraction. There's a new little plaque since I was here. Watch it, Conservation Society. Showing that they're the people who are looking after planting these flower beds. Primroses are looking nice along the banks there, leading up to the station. Just over from the parking meter are the uh, toilets here, which a notice proclaims they've just been refurbished. That's as I can see. There's no way you can open any of the doors. Perhaps they're waiting for an official opening ceremony. Now this door used to just push open. Now, there's no way you can get in without a key. That's rather peculiar. Oh, that rail car should be coming through here almost any moment. I wonder if we'll hear it coming down the gradient. People have been coming down towards these toilets and doing a complete circle around them and are mystified as to where the entrance is. Yeah. It's strange to do all that refurbishment and then not um, open them.